20 to 1. I'll take you again. Wellington. Okay, boy. It's your Favorite money. Golden boys owned by Mr. Albert Loomis. And it's written by hand. I can't give you any more than that. Well, they are worth at least twice as much. I can't give you any more than that. I saw how you were looking at them. It's obvious you're a good judge of horse flesh. You won't find any like them in the whole of Arizona. You could just take one. I want them both. Well, all right, take them. I don't know why, but you convinced me. Maybe because I like the look of you and because I know you'll take good care of them. They're born winners. If I was a young man, I'd sign up for a race myself. But I'm glad I can give you a chance. You're a good kid. OK. Now, if I win this race, I'll come back here and buy you a drink. You're on.
Hey. Hey, you. What are you doing here? Watering the horses. Didn't you see that fence? Morning, Mr. Robeson. Morning. What's the matter, boys? Caught this guy watering his horses. Is that right? Yeah. The animals were thirsty. Thirsty, huh? Hmm. Well, maybe they're hungry, too. My stable's right down below here. Now, if you want to feed your horses, feel free. Seeing as how it's natural for you to take something that doesn't belong to you. You know why I put up barbed wire? He pumps like you out of my property. Nice animals. Haven't seen horses like this in years. Yeah, beauties. Where'd you get those horses, boy? What difference does that make? Because they look familiar. Like horses from a herd that Mr. Robeson bought, but we haven't branded yet. I bought them in Tucson from Billy Joe Tucker. Oh? Any of you boys ever hear of Billy Joe, uh... Tucker. Billy Joe Tucker. Billy Joe Tucker? No, sir, Mr. Robeson. Huh. You better have a better explanation, boy. Because around these parts, we used to, uh, hang rustlers. I can prove they're mine. I doubt it. Seems how Mr. Robeson just recognized them as his. <laughs> Take them back to the ranch, boys. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, come on. Hey, look, you can't do that. I paid for those horses, 2,000 bucks. You expect me to take the word of a vagrant? If you paid for those horses, you can show me a receipt, and I'll give them back to you. Let's go. Wait a minute. Those horses are mine. I paid go for on, them. Beat it. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Get the hell out of here. I gotta talk to him as soon as possible. And from Look, it's very important. I'm still at the same number, 8675309. Right. Have him call me as soon as possible. Bye. Howdy, Ben. Hey, Louie. Who's he? Why? Yeah. I had a gun. Out of my jacket. I met I bought it when I got out of the pen. Never seen him before. He's been here for hours, waiting for a phone call. I figured I could get the money for clothes for put on the dog for you. Hey, Ben, do me a favor. Ask the front desk to give me a list of everybody who stayed here the last three days. Why, well, sure. Hello. Joe, finally. Yeah, I was. So what? You won't believe what happened.
So what does this prove? Exactly what it says, that the horses are mine. Are you kidding? <laughs> Why, any two-bit rag picker could have sent this telegram. <laughs> Doesn't prove a thing. It's just litter. Look, I want my horses. Hey, let me give you some advice, boy. You get on the first train and get out of town. Here. You might need this. Here. Mr. Robeson, I'm still waiting for my horses. Is this why Mr. Robeson called me? He stole two of Mr. Robeson's horses. All right, get in the car. Those horses are mine. I can explain everything. Sure you can. You can explain it to the judge. I'll be back. <laughs> Your Honor, with your permission, I believe the court has gathered enough material and heard sufficient testimony. Both the state and the defense have provided enough evidence for the court to render a verdict. We've already heard uh, Mr. Forrest's testimony. As for the prime witness for the defense, a certain Billy Joe Tucker of Tucson, who supposedly sold the horses to the defendant, well, Quite frankly, we'd be glad to hear him. If nothing else, he can verify his existence. But I fear that uh, this opportunity is quite unlikely. Quite frankly, I don't know what to say. Perhaps I didn't get the summons. Well, in all truth, we have waited for this witness more than is necessary. Are there any further objections? At this point, none, Your Honor. Will the defendant please rise? It is the judgment of this court that the defendant is guilty of a crime that is classified as a felony. It is the order and sentence of this court that the defendant be incarcerated in the custody of the Arizona Department of Correction. This incarceration shall be for a period of not less than one and one half years, and not to exceed three years. The prisoner is now remanded into the custody of the Arizona Department of Correction.
Well, since you're gonna be with us for the next few months, I'd like to get some things straight with you. Here we're one big happy family and really love each other. The only thing we don't like are lawbreakers, rebels, and people like that. Or anybody who breaks the rules. Now, this is really a very fine establishment. And you really learn to like discipline and order. And we're going to turn you into a upstanding, God-fearing, red-blooded American. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, boss! <laughs> Would you like a nice, cold beer? No. No, boss! Go to bed now. Because tomorrow's gonna be another beautiful day. Beautiful. At the country club. Move it! when I got the top. <laughs> he already sent us a steward, a prick working for the guards. But I beat the shit out of him. He had to leave the next day. Lay off him, Ford. He ain't one of them. He's in here for stealing a couple of horses. They gave him a year and a half. Oh, yeah? How do you know? I know everything that goes on in this place. He's cool, Ford. He knows that you're strong, that you're number one in this joint. Yeah? I don't want him to forget. He... <laughs> <laughs> What else am I to know? I've been here three years and it's still like the first day. It's finally over though. 
I'll be getting out in a week. Know what I'm in for? Nothing. A theft I couldn't even remember when they caught me. They slapped me with a year and a half. I tried to run for it. Some dumb cop got wounded, so they doubled my time. Take my advice. Don't you try to escape. Around the factories, 30 miles of desert that'll dry your skin like a paper bag. Come here. That cable has to be laid by the end of the day. You're not here to sunbathe, you know. Yeah, boss. Yes, boss. He's coming. He used to work in another pen. He was the warden there. One day, a prisoner got away. Killed two people the first day out. Ever since, he swore there wouldn't be a second time. Let's, Let's go. go. OK, ready for lunch? Mm-hmm. Cigarette? No. Cigar. How'd you get all this shit? Just got to know the right people. Fall in. That's it for today. Let's go. Fall in. Back to the bus. Come on. <laughs> Can't stay here. You'll get an additional six months. We can shoot you or turn the dogs on you. All I have to do is give the word, and your ass is dog food. Oh, uh, listen, I, I forgot to tell you. If you fall behind and I can't see you, the dogs are going to chew you up a little bit.
Never drop dead. It'll spoil our fun. Yeah. Don't want him to do that. There's always tomorrow. Come on, Wild. That's it. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Don't let it get to you. First day is always the worst. They ain't happy until they're making you feel like dirt. It's their way of stepping on you. Wait. You need some medicine. How in the hell do you do it? Just got to know the right people. <sighs> good friend, good whiskey, nothing better in the world. Who says we're friends? I say. That's it. Fall in. Back to the bus. Leave it for tomorrow. All right, keep it down. Keep it down. <laughs> And then we got that right on the bus. Move along. Come on, hurry up. Hey, you. Come here. I forgot my canteen down by the stream. Hey, could you do me a favor and get it for me? You found it. You better stay close.
make it all the way to the camp. Nah, boss. He's about ready to collapse. Want to make a bet? You're on. How much? Hundred. Hey! Hey, champ! If you make it to camp, I'll give you three days rest. Three days! Three! You're gonna be out a hundred bucks. I'll have his hard liver on toast for breakfast. <laughs>
the asshole that escaped. We got a hole in the fence! Get the jeep and a dog, now go on! Go! Who the hell was it? That kid we worked over yesterday, the runner. Oh, the runner. Now that changes it. When did he escape? I don't know. The last inspection was an hour ago. He's gone for now, but not for long. I was right. Boy, I knew he could have made it. I can't give you very much time, Ken. I've got 30 people over for dinner. Now, what is it you want? I want to see your face when I give you the news. What news? Your horse thief escaped. Escaped, huh? <laughs> well, if he's foolish enough to come here, then you've got to catch him, right? That's what you paid for. That's right. That's right. Hi, Sheriff. See you, Bill. Are you ready, Daddy? Ready and willing. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to announce your engagement to Forrest? Let me think about it, Daddy. Oh, because I have a sneaking suspicion that you're trying to marry me off to him because you want a good business manager for your ranch. Oh. And a son-in-law who's willing to jump at your command. puts a bullet between your eyes. Must be hard of hearing, boy. Look, don't hurt him. Just get him off the ranch, that's all. Let's go back to the house, Dad. By God, when I get through with you, you're never gonna want to set foot on this ranch again. Go ahead, help yourself. I'll be right there. Pretty dumb to risk your life for a couple of horses, don't you think? The horses are mine. It was a question of principle. Well, that principle seems to have cost you a bit of your hide. You know they're going to tack on three more years for you having tried to escape. Stupid. There was no way for you to escape. Here they are.
I thought you understood when I explained to you the family rules. No! You're gonna sweat blood! No! Get up! Get up! Get up! Speak to the basin code. There's a radio on that bus. Twitch to Omega Channel. Twitch to Omega Channel. Now switching to Omega, over. Get closer. Get me into position. Base, come in. N58360 to base, come in. N58360 to base. Will you give me their damn position? Okay. Their position is near Lake Powell and they're following the bus. Fly further west.
SC in 1.12. Repeat, unit SC in 1.12. Standing by for orders, over. Okay. 1.308. Request situation of bus. 1.3.6 Boston. Boston, right. Unit SC now in 1.10. Rectify, unit SC now definitively in 1.12, over. to base, blue eye to base, awaiting further orders. SC in scramble. Cancel SC. Need further instructions. Okay. I got the order here. Get into position and take him out. We got the order to take him out. Take us down as low as you can get. I'll give him a bullet back in the head. Yeah, okay. Does it? N58360 to base. Mission accomplished. Escape B is a suicide. Okay. Reporting the position to headquarters, and you can return to base. I just can't understand it. A young man like that killing himself. Did he kill anybody else? No. Nope. Well, wasn't there some way to stop him? I don't know. I wasn't there. All I can say is they must have been a bunch of animals.
They saw him dive from the chopper. But we call the police frogmen to make sure. Well, I want you to jump in. Huh. I'm not wearing this uniform to be a scuba diver. You're wearing it for me to tell you what to do. You're still pissed off for that hundred bucks. That easy hundred bucks that I won from you. You're a sore loser. He's not down there. He must have drifted away in the current. You know, you could have made a clean getaway. They still think you're dead. Well, it won't be long before they figure things out now, will it? That's why I feel so much safer taking along an important guy like you. Clear across the United States? I just gotta get 50 miles from here. Oh? Then what are you gonna do? You'll find out, don't worry. You're making a big mistake, boy. You gotta clear out of here. Go as far as you can. It's a big country. Lose yourself. I'll give you some money if you want. I'm serious. If I got you into this mess, at least let me help you. Driving. But don't you understand? Just I want keep your eyes on the road. I understand you guys are looking for a jailbird. Yeah, Mr. Robson, that damn fool could keep us up all night. Serves you right. For all the time you boys spent drinking beer at the taxpayer's expense. Good night, Mr. Robson. Now do you believe me that I want to help you? You had no choice. Yes, I did. You wouldn't have pulled the trigger. Not on me. I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't know how to judge people. Now you come with me. Now listen, boy. You may think I'm out of my mind for wanting to give you a hand. But if I was 20 years old and some rich son of a bitch stole my horses, I'd be doing the exact same thing as you. But I don't want you to get the idea that I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Because at your age, I was just as footloose as you are. Except maybe not as, uh... Not so pig-headed. Oh. Come here. Now look. You take this money, give half of it to that truck driver. Tell him nothing except where you want to go. You understand? Take it. Take care of my horses. They'll be here when you get back. <laughs> Mr. Robson? Eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me have a beer. That's a dollar, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like they say, sooner or later, everybody's got to pay. Uh, 
Greenfield boy? That's what I said. You in trouble? Why are you going to Greenfield? Business. What kind of business? Look, that's my business, okay? Okay. I'm happy to help you out, boy. You ain't the first I helped out. Why, you young fellas, seems like you all got a taste for getting in trouble. It's your age. I understand it. It makes you hot-headed. And then listen to you. You're all innocent. I bet you're innocent, too, right? Where'd everybody go? Uh, you mean the crazies in Mobile homes? It was about a month ago. They just packed up and lit out. To listen to them, you'd think they never found a good place like this before. But then one of them gets the idea to leave. And one by one, they went goodbye. They're all crazy. Always knew they were. Hey, listen. There was one of them. Joe Tucker. You don't know where he went, do you? You say Joe Tucker? Man sells horses? Yeah. Wears glasses? Yeah. Uh... He might have headed south, but I'm not sure. My best deal. You know how to spend money. Okay. Two thousand three hundred. And you can take it with you. $2,000. Our maiden aunt sure ain't gonna like this. I just threw away $300, didn't I? Okay. Just for tonight? Just for tonight. I'll show you your room.
You're going the wrong way, pal. You better go the other way and keep on walking. Why? You're on the run. I got a nose for your type. You better go someplace else. What my wife says don't count. I'm the boss here. You had better be on your way. <laughs> now get going, or I'm calling the cops. Since when do you care about the law? So you didn't give what you wanted. <laughs> Hey, Meg, bring a beer. Stay with him, Stoney. Stay with Hey, Stoney, you seen Billy Joe Tucker around? I think he went down to Tombstone to the horse auction. The police want to talk to you. Sir, we're looking for a white male in his early 20s driving a red Chevrolet with Virginia plates. Have you seen him? Uh, about 20. Red car? Ah, uh, he ain't been here. Thanks very much. Yeah, that's me. Mm-hmm. Never seen such beautiful animals. Do you know where Joe Tucker is? Try at the Lucky Cross. That's where I often see him. Okay. Stop a month or two, and then moved on. Guess you don't know where he set up house, huh? Here's what I figured. The best place to look for him is on a side street. He said he's found the nicest spot in the world, and he hopes to spend the remainder of his days there. Oh, he said his trailer is white and yellow, very big. I believe it's uh, it's in Flagstaff. In Flagstaff? Yeah, Flagstaff. Flagstaff. Mother of what? 
puppy can't wait to go for another run with you. You remember my little puppy. Big trouble out there. I filled up his tank with water. You like? Don't worry, he only grazed. How'd you find me? He just followed the warden. I That's knew he'd find you sooner or later. He was willing to bet my ass on you. Anyway, I've been terribly lonesome, and I'm not used to living alone on the outside. Get that leg checked. We're far enough away. Stop as soon as you can. Damn. This little scratch soaked up all the whiskey. Don't worry. As soon as the coast is clear, I'll pull over. Where are you going? Take a look around, see if there's any cops here. How's it doing? Not too bad. I'll be all right. Got you some medicine. Good whiskey and a friend to share it. Ain't nothing better in the world. As soon as day breaks, I'll get you to a doctor, get that leg checked, get it taken care of. Six west immediately. The direction of Midland. 
Over. Roger. It's gonna be over, right? Sorry. Shit, man. I've been ill already. I can only go to heaven. Just gotta know the right people. <laughs> Ain't nobody could get you in heaven. You gotta be the right people. <sighs> What the? 
Where the hell have you been? I've looked everywhere for you. I wanted to give you a bill of sale for those horses. Thought it might come in handy, right? Yeah, I sure would have, Joe. You see, I'll get it for you right away. I had it here for days. God knows what I did with it. Tell you what, I'll look for it tonight, and you can come back for it in the morning. No way. You look for it now. Who knows where the hell you're going to be in the morning? I'll wait right here. Here it is, finally. Are they looking for you by any chance? Give him an ultimatum. He's got one minute, then it's all over. You have one minute to come out with your hands up. I'm talking to you in the mobile home. One minute to come out. Unarmed. Otherwise, we're gonna have to open fire. You have one minute to come out with your hands up. I'm speaking to you on the mobile home. One minute. One minute to come out. Hi, boss. Hi. That's what I gotta call you, right? Right. Would you mind looking in my top pocket? That's a bill of sale for those horses. And this here's the fellow that sold them to me. Thanks, boss. I'll be seeing you. Was it worth it, boy? It was the principle of it.
thought you might like it. It's my favorite saddle. Brought me a lot of luck. Two weeks there's a race in Sonoida. I'm gonna win it. Seek your fame and fortune, huh? Well, I wish you the best of luck. We might just see you there. <laughs> <laughs> 